Hello, it's Danny at Tally Model Ways. Hope you're all okay. Uh, so I thought we would do or share with you how I do three-link coupling. Um, it's the world's pain in the bum. It's um, you know if you're having a bad day, this is just just really tops it off. To be honest with you, um, I've done uh, four or five, six, seven, eight, even eight of those done now. So this is my, my last one. Hooray! Um, so I just thought I'd sort of share with you how I go about doing it. So this is the Slater's kit. Um, to be fair, nothing on the kit. It all works as it should do. So it's a nice little brass etch. Uh, hooks, springs to make the hook uh, obviously spring back in place way off, and your three link individual couplings uh, just for added fun and effect. Um, as you can tell by the my voice, these are an absolute pig to fit. Uh, you need eight pairs of hands, 12 pairs of tweezers, and a large swear box um, to do these. But yeah, generally, we shall, we shall crack on and see how we get on. So, this one is an old Airfix one. Which is the, the Tetley's one? I'm actually upside down to the one. Uh, we've got Tetley's Steven, Lions T, can't even read it all. Uh, this one, obviously, unscrewed, well, popped off already, has a rather large weight, which is right in the wrong place, really. Uh, a lot of them seem to have just a bar, which you can just basically break the bar in half and reattach. This one has got, well, pretty much a, a gold bar type uh, sort of style thing in here. Uh, so that would want cutting down to obviously fit back in. Um, obviously the couplings then are going to go through the middle, either side. Now most of these wagons appear to have a little hook, so you can snip the hook off and then you can sort of use that as centre point. This one hasn't, however, have got a pin there, so they're basically going to eyeball the main mark of the pencil, um, if you really fancy it, just so you know where the centre point is. And so there is a bit of play in, in, the, in the hook, so it doesn't really matter too much if you are slightly off centre. Uh, it'll be wildly off, but but yeah. So next thing is putting the hole in there. Um, you could use a scalpel, file, um, sort of put a little hole through. But you, well, it's not an awful lot of there to play with. Really, one step, and you could be off to A and E before you know it. Uh, so what I'm doing with is with an old soldering iron, I'm actually squash the tip to make it into a, a wedge shape instead of being round. Uh, now, as long as you get the right way around which is that way, there we go, what we're doing. Um, now you're away from me, upside down, so working like this is quite hard. It's literally just sinking that in, working it through. Now you make a fair old blob of plastic there, don't worry about that, where's the camera here? You can obviously trim that up with a knife, it doesn't look half as bad as it does uh, there. There we go. The plastic on this one is quite thick, it's almost like double thickness if you can sort of see. Um, so it might have to do a bit more of adjustment, but you can always make it bigger, uh, you can't make it smaller, so uh, go on the air of caution. So cut that little lump off there, again. That one there. Now probably they, they're going to probably need making it open a little bit wider, but we'll, we'll go with that for now. Next job then is the brass hooks. Uh, I must admit the carpet monster has struck. I've lost quite a few to the carpet of uh, the little hooks and bits and bobs, but I think we've got enough here to do to do the job anyway. It's not not too too worried. Um, I believe there's another company who does the already pre-painted black, which would be a damn slight easier to to do. I've got to go back through these and repaint them all. Um, just a bit of a pain in the bump, and obviously not the most easy things to paint. Um, so. I can't wait for that either. <laughs> um, I'd much rather be doing scenic work any day than this fiddly lot, but um, needs a must, so we, we will do it. Uh, it, you know, it. It will look better, granted, it will, obviously this is double O, uh, it, you know, it will look better for photographs and bits and bobs. Um, I, I'm not sure really of, of how practical this lot is going to be. Um, you know, it's obviously a lot more fiddly to decouple and recouple and everything else. Especially you can get one of those little tools and try that. Um, but I've been playing around with O gauge with three link coupling, that was bad enough. So I should think this is going to be a nightmare. But um, we will endeavour to give it a go. So, okay, there's two little brass hooks built. More well, follow up, which is not built, followed up, I should say. Uh, springs. Um, there, so what? Drop the spring, you know, the little springs to go with them. Obviously, there'll be two of those. So, what we're going to do is try and put one of these up. There we go. Just 
is there. So with these you have, where's the camera, there's the camera, uh, a little fork at the end. So the spring slides on past the fork, you bend the one arm up and the one arm down, which creates basically like a T shape and holds the spring in place. So it shouldn't uh, pull through the wagon. Um, so we'll pop that through there and hopefully, let's go a bit bigger. I'm trying to be clever, this one's slightly different to the rest, I must admit, but we will do it like this, have we go. All fingers and thumbs, and I'm left handed as well. So just make sure we've got the uh, square edge of the iron, which is there, and we'll go through it backwards. So just got to be so, so careful, you don't go too crazy with this and go make it too big for it to fit through. Uh, the last thing you want to do is for it to drop out or pull through. Um, Right, that one. So, bloody fiddly. It's just getting it through. I want it to be, uh, there you go. To be honest, I don't really know how much of an effect the spring is going to have, to be honest. Obviously, normal size wagons they obviously put up the, the the draw of the load but um being this scale and obviously this weight i don't think they're going to do a fat lot to be honest with you but um, it'd be nice to say that they i know that they move as it should do Is that one there put that one through like that okay so there we go there right okay next one is these springs Say sorry if I keep going off camera. Um, you're slightly further away from me, and I've got a tendency to keep pulling it towards me to work, forgetting that you can't see. Hope this is focusing. There we go. Just trying to hold the spring up, try and fight the spring back. What I've been doing is put my fingernail into the monks of spring, trying to hold it, trying not to damage the spring as well. Like so, and then which way in few, because you can see. So now I get the fork. Oh bloody hell! This is why I hate doing a video for this. There's just there's so many factors that go can go wrong. So that one's bent. So that's at least got it in place. Then you get the other spring, and you can see. Hopefully, you can see. Okay. So then you've bent the one fork the one way the other way. So that should. Bring back into action. Right, okay, that's one side. Let's do the other side. Hopefully, a little bit less dramatic. So spring, spring on. Fed through. I'm going to place my nail. Try to hold it on the camera as well. It's hard because the uh, the camera is offset to the screen on the phone, so you uh, tend to work through what I can see through the screen and forget that you can't see um, at home. Let's just bend that that way, and if you can see it, yeah, and bend that one that way. Right, okay, we are there. Right, okay, so that one now. The next um, uh, headache, yeah, I suppose it's a headache, <laughs> um, is the three link coupling. So, obviously, individual links, like so. Uh, best thing to do, I don't know if it's going to focus or not, is to twist them apart, don't pull the link apart. So, it's a case of just pair pliers and squashing them flat again rather than trying to squash them that way. I think you'd um, end up well, ruining the, the chain effect otherwise. So put the first one through by itself. Just get tweezers in the right position. So it only gives ping and the carpet monster uh, has its fair share of these, I think, already. Okay, we're in. Okay, so we've got the next two then. Go on as well, might as well thread it through there while we're there. 
Hopefully again you can still see, trying to keep the camera and think focus and remember not to swear. <laughs> Try not to swear. Uh, I hate these things so much. If anybody else is thinking about sending me something to do, don't. <laughs> Find somebody else. Uh, there's that one. Uh, where's a pair of pliers? There we go. Let's go with some. Right, so we got yeah, some needle pliers, and I try and squash the links back together without breaking anything or squashing something you didn't mean to squash. So do that one. Just do the centre one. And say sorry this isn't the, probably the best video to, to test it's so fiddly to try and do this try and hold it in the right place i don't think this really is video material but anyway we'll give it a go let's go still that you just got to try and grab the last link and squash it flat or squ oh, twist it flat so you squash it flat right okay so we're there okay so we are there. One side down. Right, next side, let's go. Um, we're on a roll, should we say. Tweezers. Been homeschooling my daughter, she's four, like doing live Zoom with the school. That's been quite stressful today as well. So that this is probably the icing on the cake for me today. I'm probably borderline now having a uh, mental breakdown, I think, um, <laughs> due to stress. So this probably isn't the best thing to do today, but don't mind. It's a job that he's doing. So we'll do it. Uh, 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 that one there, okay. And then let's. I'm not really sure what, what's the best way whether to make, make them up in three and then fit them, or make these in up individually, or put two on them and put the last one by itself. Um, I haven't really kind of find a, a best system really. I'm not sure this is probably the best way, but I don't really know. So it's not um, it's not a bad job to do. Just well, no, it is. That's a lie. It is a bad job to do, um, but it's um, just fiddly, 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 fiddly. Um, so you definitely need a large swear, a swear box for this jobby. Try and so there we go. You can see what I'm doing. It's that fiddly. Yeah, we're there. Right, okay, so we, we are there. Um, next job now, really, is to obviously cut the weight down to suit, which is a Dremel and lots of noise, so I'm not going to work with the camera, um, and obviously reattach the body. And obviously paint up the, the coupling. So like I say, there's another company, that they, they do these in black, which would be a lot more helpful than these are. Um, but yeah, you know, they, they, they seem to seem to work quite well. You know, they seem to hook you on and, uh, you know, We'll do what they, what they should do. They just give me a bit of a, yeah, they're quite robust, they seem quite good. So, yeah, no, they, well, that's how you fit three link couplings to double O gauge um, without smashing it with a hammer or shooting yourself in the process. <laughs> anyway, cheers, bye.